Hi, I'm Ken with Tiny Circuits, and welcome to another Tiny Tuesdays event. That's where we release a new product or project every Tuesday. And today we've got this. This is a real-time clock Tiny Shield. A real-time clock, an RTC, as it's commonly known as, lets you keep track of calendar time. So you can keep track of seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. Uh, the particular real-time clock chip that we're using is right there. It's a Maxim DS1339. And so it's a really nice RTC. So in addition to the basic timekeeping function, it also has two different uh, alarm, hardware alarms that it can set. And the way we have this configured, you can actually have one of those alarms wake up the processor. So if you're doing a long-term data logging application where you have to wake up periodically, uh, the nice thing is you can use this, which is very low power, to wake up the main processor. Uh, other functions that the, the Maxim part has is it has leap year compensation up to the year uh, 2100. And so that's really great if you're doing a long-term data logging application that will keep accurate time across leap years. And across the top here is our reference. And so we've got a 32 kilohertz crystal you can see on there. So that's used as a time base. Over here is a rechargeable lithium cell. So this particular battery is actually being trickle charged by uh, the Maxim RTC through a software command. So you can turn that on and off. Uh, with this backup battery, uh, the real-time clock will actually maintain time for up to two and a half years. And so even though it's really small, it can last quite a long time uh, before you have to recharge it. So here's our setup. We've got this motor driver board in the top, which we're using to control this relay, which turns on and off our light real-time clock board, a USB board that's connected up to our computer so we can set the, the time, and a processor board. And we're using the calendar function inside the RTC to actually turn on this light. And so the light will turn on here. And that was done by our engineer, Ben, who thought it'd be really funny to put the light on my desk and have it wake up. And it worked, it scared the living daylights out of me, so congratulations on that, Ben. Uh, but this application, we've got this up on the website to use the RTC using that, uh, the calendar function, uh, the alarm function, which then goes out and wakes up the processor. So you can use that for a number of different things. In this case, waking up and turning on lights, but you can certainly see other things that it could be used for as well. And here we are just on the website for Tiny Circuits uh, on the actual page for the real-time clock. So you see here's a picture of it, we scroll down, and on all the different products you can actually find tutorials underneath the tutorial tab. So we'll click there and we'll go over to using uh, the real-time clock Tiny Shield. And that opens up a new page and this is our tutorial page for using the RTC. Uh, so we scroll down, um, there's some different notes here about how you can power the system. Uh, this is particularly a very low power so you can easily run this off of a coin cell, off the tiny Duino. Uh, down here is the actual sketch that we're going to be running. And this is a sketch that we actually got uh, from another source. And so the great thing is it's basically the driver for the DS1339 real-time clock. And they have a really nice uh, little uh, interface to go ahead and kind of learn how you can set the time and read the time and a couple other things. So I'm not going to go through the code completely. It's pretty long. But uh, the basic gist of this is it'll give you a couple different options for setting the time, reading the time, and we'll go ahead and run this. And we're using a, a software tool called CodeBender. So you see this, this window here is actually embedded into our website. So if you click on this up here, it'll take you over to the CodeBender website itself, uh, where we have most of our examples uploaded. And it's really kind of a cool interface. And so to download, I've got the Tiny Duino plugged in uh, along with the RTC and the USB board. So we've uh, selected the COM port number here. If I just click on run on our Duino, it's actually downloading now. They can't see it, but the LEDs are blinking on the USB Tiny Shield. Uh, the, so the code's actually being downloaded right now. And when this is done, um, we've got the code running. And CodeBender itself does have a serial port monitor if we went to the site. Although it's a little bit small, so I'm just going to switch over to the Arduino IDE and open up the serial monitor there. And it's already set up for COM43, so as I open up the serial monitor, it uh, should pop up here in a second. And we'll be able to um, actually see what's running on the target. So, see there's five different options here. 
Uh, there's a few different tests that we're not we're going to go through right now just to make sure that the real-time clock is functioning correctly. The two things we're going to do are set time and read time. So first I'm going to set the time. So enter number five and you see here here's a, a menu prompt for entering the date and the time in this format. So I'm going to put in today's information. So it's 2014, September 9th. It's currently 7 p.m. And so let me do my math. So that's 19. Uh, it's 22 minutes after the hour. I'll say 00 for the seconds. So just sending this, it'll go down and you can see here it entered the time in. And so that's what it thinks the current time is in the real time clock or what it set it to. And it's been what a few seconds now. So if we go ahead and read the time out, it'll probably be about 10 seconds or 12 seconds. And so that's the current time. Now I'm going to go ahead and actually reset the board. And if you're familiar with using Arduino, when you reset uh, the RAM uh, will be er erased or trashed. And so if you're actually keeping track of the time there, if you lost power or reset or redownloaded a new program, basically you'd lose whatever was in the RAM. But the nice thing with this RTC, I'll go ahead and hit the reset switch, and you can see it just uh, started back up again. But I can go ahead and read the time, and notice it's still counting, so it's at 47. And I'm actually going to go ahead and unplug the board, although you can't see this. So I've just unplugged the real-time clock board. I'm plugging it back into the stack. So we've lost power uh, to the main time Duino, to the, the RTC board itself. But with the backup battery, if we read the time again, You'll see that the time's still valid, so it's counted up. Um, it's now eight seconds after um, 7:23, and that's pretty much it for the demo. Um, with regards to the demo we ran earlier, where we're actually using the calendar function, we have that code up on CodeBender as well. It's pretty much exactly the same uh, to set, uh, to actually set the the calendar uh, alarm, the interrupt. I uh, basically just type in the same date and time format and when that happens we'll get the event back and it'll wake up the main processor and that's when we uh, turn on and off the light. So thanks again for tuning to Tiny Tuesdays. Uh, the RTC board is available now and we'll have a, another cool project or product next week. Thanks.